You get younger every single day. You are gorgeous. Oh my god, I love your face. Oh my god, you're so beautiful. You're a celebrity. You're a star. Whoa, oh my god. People, people fall in love with you when you just walk down the street, okay, bitch? People, people, like, you are rock star energy. People, when people lose you, they want to die because you're an experience. You are to be experienced. You can be experienced once, and then when you're done, people want, people are addicted to your person. You, oh my god. Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to this episode of Dawson's World. Yes, you guys are in my bathroom right now because I want to give you guys my model maintenance. Get ready with me. Yes, I am a full-time YouTuber and model because I just recently lost my job, so I ordained myself the position. I want to get ready with you guys, okay? Just woke up. First thing I like to do is drink a big gulp of water. This is just water, and it's in a Starbucks tumbler. Coincidental that I'm wearing green. All green, but green is the color of money. <sighs> I like to decompress in the mornings. Mornings are very hectic. Usually I like to put on some French music or like some piano music and just listen to music while I do my skincare routine. We're so dehydrated, especially when we're sleeping overnight. We lose a lot of moisture from our skin and our bodies. Let's jump into the skincare routine. One of the things I do first is put my hair up. I hate seeing people do their skincare routines and they just have their hair down. Like, does that not make you uncomfortable having wet stragglies of hair everywhere? Depending on how I go to sleep the night before, Sometimes I don't have to do my skincare in the morning if my skin is very moisturized. I took a shower last night, so my skin, I did not do like my complete skincare routine. I like to turn on the heat, the heater in this little bathroom because it's like really cold. I get cold easily in the mornings, except it's super loud. So I don't want to like, my first first step in my skincare routine is using a double cleanser. Before I was using the Burt's Bees cleansing oil with coconut and argan oil. This is the bottle, it's out. Like I, this is a staple. I love the smell of this the only downside to this is that it burns your eyes if you're trying to take off makeup it makes you tear up so i found this melting cleansing balm cleanse and balance by the sephora brand it has chlorella in it balance skin ph removes waterproof makeup and this is really cheap. It's very comparable to the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm. Never used that in my life. That's $30 and I can't justify buying a $30 cleanser. It looks like this on the inside. It just has like a very clean, old school scent to it. And when I first start off, I put it on the back of my hands because you want to do this on dry skin. I like to warm it up on my hands so it's nice and melted. And then I just go in with my skin. The theory behind a cleansing balm is that pores, oil, sebum, impurities, dirt on your skin, it's made of an oily substance. And when you go in with a water-based cleanser, you're not necessarily cleansing in the pore because pores are not water soluble. Pore, whatever gunk is in your pores, is made of a fatty, oily, you know, sebum. It's made of sebum, it's made of oil. So the reason why you should double cleanse is because one, if you have any heavy makeup on your skin, if you have any heavy sunscreens on your skin, basically like attracts like. It attracts to the sunscreen, it attracts to the makeup on your face that's not water soluble. If it's waterproof, it's not water soluble, you know? And what it does essentially is that it's able to get into the pores. Don't quote me on this, I'm not a scientist, but this is what I've heard. Basically do a pre-cleanse to a water-based cleanser that will take off the impurities. It will take off the dirt that comes to the surface. When I'm using an oil-based cleanser, I really like to work this in for eight to 10 minutes. Yes, I know that's very extreme, but I feel like this is vital to my skincare routine. Obviously, you can't get rid of your pores. Skin has pores, you're human. If you didn't have pores, you would die. Using an oil cleanser and then working it in for a very long amount of time. I'm exercising my skin, massaging, I'm getting blood flow to it. I'm also cleansing the skin and I'm making sure everything in the pores get removed. I want to show you guys a few techniques that I like to do when I'm actually massaging my skin with the oil cleanser. It's kind of like a two for one since I have so much slip on my skin right now. Starting with the neck, I like to go in an upward motion and it's, it's a bit hard to speak and do this at the same time, but you guys get the point. Sometimes when I'm sleeping on the side of my face, I get this really bad crease right here. It goes away, but I get scared seeing it. So what I like to do is two fingers from the chin, push up and then out, up, out. And this feels amazing. Go in the bathroom and try this right now. It feels amazing. You're giving your face a massage. So relaxing and it's an amazing way to start off the day. Hooks. I like to do middle of the chin and then go up to the ears. I 
knuckles gently I'm being very gentle when I'm doing this you don't want to be very rough and then also keep in mind I have a lot of product on my face right now so that there is a lot of slip I'm not tugging on my skin at all let's get into the forehead okay I like to do this little motion right here to give myself a lift I don't want any 11s that's my biggest fear okay our 11s and crow's feet I literally would rather face crowns in a field of hay than ever see crow's feet so I like to do really get on the nose I like to massage my 11s, my train tracks, and then out this way. Here's a tip for the side of the eyes where the crow's feet are, okay? So cover your eye and then use your fingers to massage your temples upwards. The reason why I'm holding my eyelid down is that you don't want to tug it at all, okay? So I'm moving temples up to forehead. Same thing for the other eye. Getting to the eyelids. I'm very gentle with the eyelids. I have this crease under my eyes. You guys can't see it. It's just a fold in my eye. It's not a wrinkle, but I don't like it. Obviously, I can't get rid of how my eye creases other than like surgery. But I like to use my ring fingers only. And then from the outside in. Outside in. So what I mean is like outside in, you know. Very gentle, very depuffing. I just like to be gentle when I do this. The beauty in using a balm is that it's a two-step to cleanse. Get your hands wet just a little bit. You're gonna massage it on your skin with the balm still on. I'm not rinsing off the balm just yet, but I'm just wetting it and emulsifying it into this cleansing, soapy action. Most cleansing balms have actually an emulsifying agent and they have a um, surfactant in there. You get a little cleanse on your skin. When you look like this, you're good to rinse it off, and you're actually going to go in with another cleanser afterwards. And the cleanser that I'm going to be using today is the Biosan Squalene and Amino Aloe Gentle Cleanser. So I'm going to rinse this off. I'm going to do this off camera because I don't have any sink space right now. Go in with my squalene, and then I'll be right back. Whoa! Oh my god. My skin looks amazing already, and there's no product on it right now. I like to first start off with an eye cream. I am 21, so eye creams are such a scam, but I got this for free. It's not sponsored, but I did get it for free. This is the Belief First Aid 360 Eye Care Mask. My toxic trait is that I like to use masks as like a moisturizing product. I use it as a daily dry wear. <sighs> Very cooling. My eyes just drink a glass of water. That's what this feels like. Ring fingers. I'm not being rough at all and I think I use a little bit too much product. I like to go in with a moisturizer. My skin does get really dry especially in the winter months. I don't mind looking greasy especially when I'm not on camera or if I'm just like you know out and about. I don't care if I look greasy okay. I can look greasy but your future self will thank you when you're like 50 years down the road okay. This is the La Roche Posay Libby Carb Balm Intense Repair Moisturizing Creme. A P plus. I love La Roche Posay products one because they're very accessible to everyone. They sell it at Target, Walgreens. I think Walmart carries it too. It's a drugstore brand, but they have very clinical. Um, so there's no scent, there's no fragrance. It's very simplistic packaging. If you're wanting to get into skincare products, if you have like a certain problem that you're trying to address, or you're just looking for like an all-around good product, I would most definitely recommend La Roche Posay. I love their moisturizers. I love their cleansers. They have a gentle foaming cleanser, and they also have a gentle milk cleanser. So gentle, literally, I would use it on my baby. Fact check that. But if I had a baby, I would probably research if I could use it on them because it's so gentle. The next product that I like to go into is the Derma E Vitamin C Renewing Moisturizer with Probiotics and Roibos. I don't know how to pronounce that, I'm sorry. I have a lot of texture on my forehead and especially when I'm in sunlight or if I'm, you know, in certain lighting, you can see the texture on my forehead. I honestly thought it was acne. I tried to squeeze it, I tried to exfoliate it. It was not coming out. I found out that it's a fungus response to my diet. If I'm drinking a lot of dairy, sugar, eating a lot of grease or anything like that, I start to get a lot of texture on my forehead. As a part of my model maintenance, I and I don't starve myself do not like I don't want y'all in my comments saying I starve myself because I don't I like to cut back on sugar dairy fast food soda salt grease any heavily processed snacks a week before I have to do the modeling event so I start the week before and then I eat very clean throughout the week leading up to the event sometimes my skin does need a pick-me-up and I feel like this is the perfect pick-me-up it has vitamin C in it so it's very antioxidant it says it has been 
shown to increase collagen production in your skin. It has a very nice fun scent. It's not overwhelming at all and it's very greasy. Not greasy. Greasy is a bad word. It's a very moisturizing product which I love for the winter months. It has vitamin C in it so it has an antioxidant. It brightens my skin. My face is a lot darker than the rest of my body. It takes away the dullness, you know. And I do avoid putting it on the lips because I get a bad reaction on my lips when I put this on my lips. I don't know why. If I were doing a nighttime skincare routine, I would actually slough on a lot more of the La Roche Posay and I I'll actually go in with the Pharmacy Honey Potion Renewing Antioxidant Hydration Mask. Do you guys know what slugging is? Slugging is when you put on heavy moisturizer and then you put an occlusive agent on top. So it locks in and it stops transepidermal water loss when you're sleeping at night. A lot of people use Vaseline. I don't have Vaseline. I don't like using Vaseline to cover my entire face. It's just so heavy. But this product, I feel like if I put on like a handful of that La Roche Posay and then put this product on top of it and go to sleep, like it just sticks on my, like I'm, I wake up and I I look like my skin drinks it up but it's still like on top of my skin you know it's like really occlusive a little bit goes a long way and it's sweet if you get a little bit in your lips but I only do this at night sometimes I will do it during the daytime but I will switch either between the vitamin C or this one I try not to I don't think antioxidants are actives but I just don't like using so many products with like a specialized ingredient in it, you know? Like I don't want to use too much of an exfoliating product or I don't want to use too much of an antioxidant product. So I like to alternate between the two. It is the daytime, so I like to go in with sunscreen. Always wear your sunscreen. All my problems have been solved by wearing sunscreen. If you wear sunscreen daily, take it off correctly, and then eat your fruits and vegetables, you know, there's more. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's more to that than just that, but like, I feel like it will solve a lot of problems, okay? La Roche Perse 50 SPF Broad Spectrum Mineral Sunscreen. It does have a white cast, but I'd rather have a white cast than saggy aging skin. I like to start off with a lot. Your neck and your hands show the first signs of aging. Dawson, why are you wearing sunscreen if you're just inside all day? If you're sitting next to a window or in front of a window, which I do, UV can still get through the window. And then also, it's just a good habit to get into. You wanna wear sunscreen even if it's the winter time. Make sure you're getting your ears because you don't want saggy ears and you don't want moles on your ears that can turn cancerous because that's scary. Get under the eyes. Okay, cool. I look like Edward Scissorhands right now. The white cast goes away. Just give it a moment. If I know I'm going to be doing flash photography, I try to stay away from a mineral sunscreen and I'll use a chemical sunscreen. I don't prefer chemical sunscreens because of the way the filters work in the sunlight. Mineral sunscreens deflect sunlight. Chemical sunscreen absorb sunlight and does something to it. It heats up your skin. When it absorbs the sunlight to disperse it, your skin heats up and I get very like, I just don't like it. My lips have been very chapped lately, especially because I'm stressed and because it is the winter month. So I like to go in with two products. The first one is the Nivea Moisture True Lip Clear, Lip Clear. The Nivea Moisture True Lip Care. Oh my god, I can't speak. The Nivea Moisture True Lip Care. I love Nivea. A little rosy lips, Vaseline, and then I like to lock in that moisture. I like to go on with the Gold Bond Ultimate Eczema Relief. 2% colloidal oatmeal. I do have eczema on my hands. Don't come for my eczema, okay? The baddest bitches have some form of eczema, psoriasis, anemia, irritable bowel syndrome. Like, it's, it's facts, okay? So I just like to go in with some hand care. Rub that in. And then I like to drink my water again. You get younger every single day. You are gorgeous. Oh my God, I love your face. Oh my God, you're so beautiful. You're a celebrity, you're a star. Whoa, oh my God. People, people fall in love with you when you just walk down the street, okay, bitch? People, people, like you are rock star energy. People, when people lose you, they wanna die because you're an experience. You are to be experienced. You can be experienced once and then when you're done, People want, people are addicted to your presence. You, oh my. See how like, even just like giving myself affirmations, I like. It's like a, it's, it's like a glass of water to the soul. That is all for my get ready in the morning with me skincare edition model maintenance. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. We did just hit 1600 lamb chops. I'm basically doing this as my full time job at this point because I just lost my job and I don't want to go back. So if you're watching this and you're not subscribed, what are you doing? Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification so you're notified every single time I post a video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, I love you. Oops.